Hi guys, it's me again. I have a short, possibly short story for you today. We're gonna call this one a story time. Today, it is currently uh, almost three o'clock in the morning and I've been waiting to film this like all day today. This morning, I'm gonna say about a little bit before noon. Um, I was up, I was sitting here on the couch working on my laptop here. My neighbors upstairs, they're, they're a little noisy and I was focused on my work so I was wearing my headphones. One's right here, wearing my headphones, doing my thing, working on some stuff. She like, I heard like furniture moving around, stuff like that. And then I heard this really loud like bang, but I was wearing my headphones. So in my head, I thought it was like something upstairs, something that had happened. Shortly after hearing this thing, suddenly there was a strange electrical burning smell. I don't know if you guys have ever smelled like burning electronics, but it's not good. Since I was over here working on my laptop and it was working a little hard, I had a lot of stuff going on, I thought it might have been my laptop. So immediately I shut all my applications, saved my files, unplugged the thing, shut it down, and then I, you know, I checked and I was like, you know, it doesn't smell like burning. And then I checked the cooling mat that I have on my laptop and that didn't smell weird at all. I was like, what could be making the smell? So immediately I ran around my whole house checking every outlet that I could possibly think to check. My wife came out of the bedroom uh, around that same time. And was like, what is that smell? And I was like, I'm not sure. <laughs> she went around the house with me and helped me check all the outlets and we could not find anything. Like looked burned or had the smell like coming off of it. We didn't know what it could possibly be. I even went as far as unplugging, like we have a mini fridge. I went and unplugged that and let that thaw out for the day thinking maybe there was something wrong with that. And it still was there. So finally, I went into the laundry room and the smell was a lot stronger in there. Turned on the vent to air it out a little, opened the dryer and, you know, pulled out lint trap, make sure that was clean. And everything looked fine in there. All the outlets in there were fine. We were like, oh wait, the utility closet's in here. So we opened the door and a waft of air and that scent hit us both right in the face right in the chest and we're like oh it's the water heater i know a lot of you probably haven't had this happen to you i know i haven't this is the first time i've had this happen our water heater tried to light itself on fire there's an access panel in the front i'll show it to you in a moment but it had these black singe marks all around it immediately moved everything out of that room and we called maintenance Maintenance guy came down, opened the door, saw the singe marks. It was like, yep, that's the problem. He opened the access panel and flipped the breaker for the water heater and said, you guys aren't going to have any more hot water for the day. So that means no laundry, no dishes, no showers, no hot water. He pulled out his uh, screwdriver and he undid the panel, which was so hot that he couldn't touch it with his bare hands. He was using the screwdriver to pull it open. Welcome to the laundry room. This is the, the closet with the water heater in it, as you can see. And we open this up, and up here it looks okay, looks a little old, you know, whatever. And we make our way down. These were the black scorch marks that I saw when we first opened it. And then he pulled the panel off. And all in there... Oh, we will see it. All in there is just burnt and black and charred. So, um, yes, that's the water heater. They're gonna come in tomorrow and replace it and bring me a new water heater. I don't know how long it's gonna take to install. I don't know how long it will be without hot water. Cross your fingers, but they do bring me a water heater. See you guys then mini update before I cut it off. I have had this window open all day to try and get that burning smell out of the house. It's still really strong, especially in the laundry room. 
but I can still smell like the electrical burning. So I don't know how long the smell is going to stick around either. We will find out. Hopefully, as soon as I take that thing out of here, the smell goes away. Hi guys, it's me. Um, back again. It has been a couple of days. I forgot to update you guys. They did come in the next day with a brand new water heater in the box still. They installed the new water heater. It is not exploded like the other one. It's shorter than the other one. I haven't really taken a good look at it. Um, let me show you guys what it looks like. So this is the new water heater. Um, it's smaller than the other one. Doesn't take up as much room, so I think the other one was really old. I'm not sure how old it might have been. I replaced it, it's all good now, but it still does have a hint of burning electronic in it. So I do have hot water, that's great. Um, but I'm worried that this particular room, which is my laundry room, is going to permanently smell like burnt electronics. That's about it for my little short story here. Uh, if you guys want more short stories like this, do let me know in the comments below. I can do more short little story times about random things that happen to me. Like, comment, subscribe as always, and uh, you know I check my comments every day. I hope you guys have a wonderful evening, and I will see you next time.